Welcome to the Titan Tar Channel. Today we have a topic to discuss about F-35 crashes in Alaska after landing gear icing. Don't miss the chance to join us and share your opinions with us, subscribing and liking to grow our community. Become a member of our channel and evolve your rank. A recent report has revealed that an F-35A crash at Isleson Air Force Base, Alaska, in January was caused by ice forming inside the landing gear, a result of hydraulic fluid contaminated with water. The ice prevented the landing gear struts from fully extending, triggering a cascade of mechanical and automated system failures. Complicating the incident further, the F-35's flight control software incorrectly interpreted the aircraft as being on the ground while it was still airborne, rendering the jet uncontrollable. Fortunately, the pilot ejected safely, suffering only minor injuries, but the aircraft was destroyed, costing the Air Force approximately $196.5 million. The mishap began shortly after takeoff when the F-35's nose landing gear failed to retract fully due to ice buildup, leaving it canted 17 degrees to the left. The pilot attempted to address the problem through a series of touch-and-go landings while consulting Lockheed Martin engineers. However, ice inside the main landing gear struts prevented them from fully extending, and the aircraft's weight-on-wheel sensors mistakenly indicated it was on the ground. This caused the jet's automated flight control system to switch to on-ground mode, severely compromising its stability and ultimately leading to the crash sequence captured in a viral video. Investigators detailed how the F-35 sophisticated landing gear and flight control systems, while advanced, can become vulnerable in extreme cold conditions. The NLG's centering cams and uplock hooks rely on proper strut extension, and ice prevented them from engaging correctly. Similarly, the MLG WOW sensors, which feed critical information to the aircraft's flight control algorithms, were disrupted, causing the on-ground flight control law to activate mid-air. This incident underscored how even minor hydraulic contamination combined with Alaska's freezing temperatures can have catastrophic consequences on aircraft operations. The report also highlighted broader contributing factors, including maintenance oversights, improper storage of hydraulic fluid, and decisions made during in-flight consultation. While the pilot's actions were ultimately heroic, the investigation noted that more informed decision-making, awareness of prior sensor issues, and adherence to maintenance protocols could have prevented the accident. The mishap serves as a stark reminder of the challenges posed by extreme cold weather operations, the vulnerabilities of even the most advanced aircraft, and the critical importance of maintenance and automated system awareness in modern military aviation. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel like the video, and share it with your friends. Your interactions mean a lot to us and help us grow. See you next time.